ability to get out of awkward situations comes with experience, and this video will help you gain that experience. What can you do if you put on mismatched socks or forgot to tweeze your nose hairs? And how to act when you see a hottie? This video will teach you what to do in all kinds of important situations. Your friends got together to watch a new movie and you need to walk to your place between the rows. How do you do it? Do you turn your back to the people sitting down? That's wrong and kind of rude. When you're walking the rows, turn to face the back. This way, you won't accidentally push anyone and you'll show your politeness. Help yourself to some snacks. Do you know the feeling when you see a cute guy in front of you and you just go crazy with nerves? You trip, you drop everything, you say some nonsense, and you blush. Do you think he doesn't notice anything? You don't look all that attractive to him. So in order to attract his attention, do this. When you notice him, stop, take a deep breath, slowly count to 10, look in the mirror, and calm down. Now, sit down next to him confidently. Hmm, he seems interested. First dates are important. You must show your best side. And you have to make it clear that you prefer a healthy diet. But getting a salad while he eats a burger is torture. Although, maybe you shouldn't hold back. When the guy leaves, ask the waiter to secretly bring a burger for you. Hide it under the table. When the guy is distracted, take it out and take a small bite. The main thing is to be as careful and attentive as possible. Or plan in advance how to play it off as a joke. Finding your soulmate is so wonderful. And here you are, so happy coming home from a walk. He gets to the door, opens it, and quickly goes inside, leaving you on the other side of the lock, surprised and upset. This is unacceptable. Remember that a true gentleman lets the lady in first and then comes in himself. And in no case does he slam the door in front of a woman's nose. Nobody's perfect, and even the biggest fashionista might not notice that it is time for her to tweeze her nose. But we have an emergency life hack for such a situation. Take a mostly eaten lollipop, put it in your nose, and pull it out sharply. Do it just once, and that's it. This is a pretty painful procedure, but beauty is pain. Whole wheat pasta is very tasty and very healthy. But not everyone knows how to eat it neatly. And sprays of sauce fly away completely unnoticeable to you. But everyone around you notices. How do you avoid getting embarrassed? You just need to take a tablespoon. Pick up some pasta with a fork. Place the spoon perpendicular to the plate and press the fork's times against it. Carefully wrap the pasta on the fork. That's it, no more long tails. And if there's no tail, there is no trace of the meal on the face. Having a small chest is very common. You can make it look a little bigger without any kind of surgery. There we go! Napkins are not meant just to wipe your hands. Lay them inside your top and enjoy your new cup size. But there is one issue. The napkins can be noticed in a deep cleavage or under a shirt, especially by friends who might also know about this trick. To keep from getting caught, it is better to put on a different outfit with a shallow neckline without buttons. And no worries! Ha! Ah, I'm made to shine, and my jewelry helps me out. My necklaces, my bracelets, and rings. A lot of rings. But remember, use, do not abuse. If you wear all your jewelry at once, you will look like a Christmas tree. So take off all the extra stuff, and only leave the pieces that go with your look. That's it, much better. Less is more, as they say. Chatting with a friend at lunch over a cup of tea with cookies is sacred. 
But sometimes food gets stuck in your teeth, which is so annoying. Do you think you can subtly remove it with your fingers? But putting your hands in your mouth at the table is a sign of bad manners. In order to clean your teeth, use a toothpick. Just don't take too long. Believe me, even the closest friends don't want to see something like this. If that piece of food doesn't get out, leave the table with a toothpick and do everything you need in the bathroom or the hall, just in private. Show good manners and respect for your friend. No smudge lipstick is not for everyone, and regular lipstick has one drawback. It leaves traces on everything you touch with your lips. There is nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't look good, and washing the makeup from the dishes is not pleasant. What can you do? In fact, it is quite easy to not leave the traces. You only need a powder compact. After you color your lips, slightly apply a napkin on them, and apply a thin layer of powder over the lipstick. Now the lipstick won't smudge. Magic? No, just a life hack. Time flies when you're on your computer, and it can be hard to stop, even when your friends come to visit. Of course, they can find something to keep themselves busy, but don't forget that being distracted while you have guests is not polite, especially when they want your attention. If you ignore your friends too many times, your social circle might end up being just your computer. In order to prevent these problems, once you have company, put your laptop away. Enjoy face-to-face -face communication. A girl's biggest fear is being in the same place with someone wearing the same outfit. A fight is unavoidable. But is this blouse really worth your friendship? Let's be smarter and just trick the situation. Fold up the sleeves to get a short sleeve shirt. And this way your outfits aren't the same anymore. And now take scissors and make a cut at the neck. Turn the collar to get a neckline. You see, it's not hard at all to get out of an awkward situation without fighting. Hair extensions are good only in one case, when they are invisible. But if there's a little wind, it's good that your friend is here to point out the problem and also give you her hat to hide your issue. And people say that girls can't be friends. They are so wrong. Anything can happen in a hurry. For example, you can wear mismatched socks to go on a visit. What to do? Soon your hosts will notice your mistake. In this situation, a permanent marker will come to the rescue. Put the sock on a piece of cardboard so that it's easier to draw on. Draw black dots on the white fabric using the marker, exactly like the other sock. Hmm, it seems the trick was a success. Just pay more attention next time. It always happens at the worst possible moment. Oh no, my jeans tore in a really important place. What to do? A shawl you have around your shoulders will help. Take it and tie it around your hips. Twist the ends into a bundle and tuck them in to make a stylish belt. Voila! The skirt was a success. Maybe you can wear it instead of jeans next time. A party without a glass in your hands is not a party. So is a party without friends. But pay attention while you're saying hi. The issue is that when you hold a glass with a cold drink, condensation forms on the surface. And shaking hands with a wet palm is impolite and unpleasant. In order to keep from seeming ignorant and making your friends uncomfortable, hold the glass correctly by the stem so your palm will remain dry. If you forget this rule, don't offer your wet hands when you say hi but just suggest clinking glasses. Did you like our life hacks? We hope they will help you in the most awkward situations. What stories do you have about situations like these? Comment below, give this video a like, click on the bell, and tell your friends about us. And we're working on new interesting ideas.